Daytona is just an amazing place uh, nowadays. The last 10 years or so, uh, it's become an iconic event in the middle of winter for motorsports and for sports car in general, for all, for all motorsports, really. Personally, this event has just come a long way. Uh, the win last year was just incredible for our whole team and for me personally. I never thought a single race would have such a huge impact uh, on me both personally and professionally. So this, this race has really become where the who's who of motorsports comes to compete in the middle of the winter and have an equal shot of winning. It's a really fantastic race. Vic Alford will be here in his, his 907 this weekend and he uh, uh, like Hurley, he's a legend, he's still around and kicking. And uh, back then it was steel men wooden ships. Uh, and to be honest with you, I don't know how they did it. Great to be back, and in fact, it was a whole series of things with Porsche because the week before coming here, I won Monte Carlo Rally, uh, which was actually the first time a Porsche had ever won it. And then a week later, I found myself here and winning this, which was also a first for Porsche first time they'd ever won a 24-hour race outright, or indeed a World Championship race outright. Guys, uh, guys like Vic Elford and uh, Brian Redman and even uh, Derek Bells and so forth, they really paved a way to make it easy for guys like me. Our cars today are so much more drivable. Uh, all the modern cars are just so much easier to drive and they're very, very durable compared to the old cars where you had to go fast but you had to be really careful with the equipment. All we have to worry about now is going fast, and uh, everything is just so bulletproof and so durable um, that's really flat out sprint race for 24 hours. You know, the 907 played its part in the evolution. It, it was a, it was a perfect car in the continuation of Porsche's program. It, it doesn't really look out of place. You know, the cars today are a little, bit, a little bit different in their looks. They're a bit wider, they're a bit flatter, but uh, that car looks as though it could perfectly well be taking part in the same race today. I feel really privileged to be driving a Porsche. Porsche is long known for its endurance heritage. Uh, the first race uh, Porsche won in long distance race was the 24 hour here by Vic Elford. And, uh, you know, Vic is a friend of mine and uh, truly a, a legend in his own right. And uh, I just hope I can follow in his footsteps. A second win and a, a second watch would be great, but winning it alongside Hurley Haywood, who has been uh, just a, a super influence on me, a super great friend, a great friend of my father's, would be a, an incredible experience. It could probably go even beyond anything that happened last year.